Okay, so in this short video, I'm gonna show you how to um, register your own Spotify app and then use it with Tuna. This way, um, you won't see the same slowdowns that you currently experience with Tuna if you're using it. Um, it's because um, all users uh, that use the plugin with Spotify integration, they all make requests over the same ID. And each ID uh, is limited um, to a certain amount of requests. Just, you know, so each app gets the same amount of requests. So it's like fair, fairly distributed. And um, Tuna makes a lot of requests, even just for a couple of users. So the plugin gets uh, limited a lot. And if you make your own app, you will have to have a separate ID and you're going to have to make a lot of requests to get limited if you're only one user using that ID. Um, to do that, you have to go to the developers page for Spotify, developers.spotify.com. Um, I'm going to click on dashboard here. It will ask you to log in. I'm already logged in, so let's skip that step. Um, I'm going to see your apps here. I have two. Um, you probably will have none, so I'm just going to click on create or create here. Um, give it a name, give it a description. You know, Check the two boxes. I would advise you to read these um, two or three links. The first one is just a form which you can skip. This is only if you want to make a commercial app. I would assume you don't, so you can just close that. Then uh, terms of service. So you know the usual legal document, but um, you know at least skim it. I have read it and I have not found anything that um, would prevent me from, you know, making the plugin that I made. And then the last one is the branding guidelines, just the logo stuff. If you don't use Spotify logo, which you probably won't. And just skip that as well. Then click on create and I'm just going to use the, the app that I made. Click on edit settings and in here we need to add a redirect. URI. Um, it has to be this one. You know, universal.github.io slash author slash token. Um, you could have your own here, but if you do that, you will have to write your own website that shows a token. It's not that hard, but um, you can even use mine as a template. But, you know, just for simplicity, you can just use this one. And we're done here. Now we can open up OBS Studio. I'm going to do that. And we're going to open up Tuna settings. Go to Spotify. And then we will copy client ID. Paste. And then the secret. The client ID, this one uh, can be public. Doesn't matter. The secret, on the other hand, as the name implies, should be kept secret. Um, I don't care about this specific app, so I'm just going to show it to you. If you ever leak it, you can just reset it here. Um, but you'll obviously have to change it wherever you used it. Then we can click on open, open login page. The usual warning. We'll ask you to log in. Um, well, this is what the plugin will be able to do. Agree. And then just get the uh, authentication code. And paste it in here. And the rest is the same as it has been before. Request. There you go. Now we can start the plugin. No song is playing. And if I quickly start playing music. It should show the cover as well. There we go. Took a bit. And that's all there is to it. Now you're making requests uh, through your own um, ID and a secret. And it will be counted separately. Um, you can always remove it here 
on your accounts page, spotify.com slash us slash account. There it is, it's the app. And if we look at the dashboard, it's uh, new, so I guess the data doesn't show up, but it would eventually. And that's all there is to it.